So, you want to try or start playing airsoft? Excellent! Don't be worrying about what to get just yet, as in guns, gear, etc. Just go online and have a look for airsoft sites that are near you first. Go down and have a look at the place. That's what I've done myself. I just went down to a site, went up, had a chat with them, asked if it's okay if I can walk about with one of the marshals whilst the game's being played. Have a look at the site. Is that a place where I'm going to want to go? And is that going to be something I could possibly enjoy? This is a picture of me on the first time I went and played airsoft and you see what I'm wearing is just an old fishing jacket, a pair of jogging bottoms and welly boots and then I hired the gear. I'd done that was about six times I think it was just in that particular type of setup and enjoyed myself and you know you might find out that it's actually not going to be for you for whatever reason and at least you give it a go but it's a good place to start and we all had to start somewhere. As regards getting guns um, or your kit, don't worry about that at the moment. There's just no point. It's so much to actually take in all your different guns, your sniper rifles, your assault rifles, your marksman's rifles, your secondary. Do you run it on battery, CO2, green gas, high pressure air? There's so many things to take into account that it will get a little bit overwhelming to start with. So just go, hire the gear, enjoy yourself. Don't worry about what you go and turn up in and you're wearing a jumper and a pair of jeans. There's plenty of people that go and play airsoft and have got their own guns, but they're still going along and playing in hoodies and jeans, jogging bottoms. No one cares. If you're playing competitively, then yeah, I can understand, you know, you're going to be wanting to look the part but for just going out and giving it a go to see if you like it don't worry about it no big deal as regards on age wise there will be a limit to how young you can be where you will need to have a parent or guardian with you but other than that as long as you can get yourself there you're pretty well much playing rules how the game is actually going to be played out what type of game you're going to be playing will all be explained to you just before you actually go and start playing or that particular game depending on whereabouts you are in the day. Chances are you'll be a bit like me when you go and play airsoft for the first time, running around one assault rifle, one magazine, and a bottle of uh, BBs in my pocket, making me sound like a giant maraca as I'm running around. But that's one of the things that's going to happen. I am doing this only for a UK base airsoft, because I've got no clue on what other countries in the world have, as in rules and regulations. But it's one of those things that isn't going to be too hard to find out if you just go on Google Google and have a look around. Now, when you have found an airsoft site that you want to go to, get yourself all sorted. Go down there, make sure you take a little bit of money with you. Hopefully they'll have something like um, a calf or a little burger van sitting down there where you can get yourselves hot and cold drinks. When it comes to the briefings on what all the rules, regulations are going to be and all your different gameplays, pay attention, have a good listen to what they're saying. There will be things like the possibility of having bang rules, minimum engagements, etc. So just pay attention, listen to what they have to say. If you do have any problems with the gun when you're down there, find a marshal, have a chat with them about it. They'll most probably be able to sort it out for you or it'll be a case of they'll sort you out with another higher gun so that then you can just get back into the game don't start arguing with people and giving it i shot you and all the rest of that just carry on playing if you do have any problems have a chat with a marshal again hopefully you'll be able to sort things out if you're always going to get yourself into a mood there's no point in going because you're not going to enjoy the day yourself and chances are you're going to make it so it's not such a nice day for other people as well if you ever get to that point then what's the point in playing if you think there is someone there that isn't calling their shots and isn't playing fairly and try shooting someone else. At the end of the day, you have got to get used to that gun or used to playing airsoft. The guns have not got unlimited range and there's a point that you may not actually see that your BB has hit someone. 
And what's the point in getting all stroppy, moody over a game that's played with technically toy guns and little plastic balls? Now you will find yourself at the point of that you have got shot. You stand up, put your hand up, shout out that you hit and depending on the gameplay you may be standing there waiting to be medicked or you may have to head back to a respawn point. Either way you could still get shot by accident by someone who's just a little bit trigger happy and as reactions aren't as good or as quick as what their brain is thinking or not thinking. If you do get shot and when you're already out don't worry about it just say that you're already here you've still got your hand up in the air hopefully and carry on walking back to your respawn point or if you're standing there waiting to be remedicked it's not a big deal it's only a little plastic ball prepare yourself for getting dirty muddy sweaty so only wear some old clothes that you're not really too bothered about if they get ripped at all or covered in muck how much does airsoft hurt that all depends on who goes and shoots you and at what range they're going to shoot you at now accidents do happen it may be your fault maybe someone else's fault if you go and stick your head in front of someone that's just about to shoot and you get hit with that bb at near on point blank range it's going to hurt a little possibly like this but if you get shot there could be a possibility you won't even realize that you've been shot again it all comes down to what you're shot with and at what range if a marshal tells you to do something or not to do something listen to them there will only be a certain amount of tolerance that they'll have to the point of that you could get kicked off the field if you really misbehave yourself you could wind up getting banned and if this is your first time playing airsoft that's not a good thing end of the day they are there to look after you as well as everyone else and try to make sure that everyone has fun but at least be respectful towards each other as well you will be supplied with eye protection possibly even a full face protection remember not to be taking that off when you are out playing games you've only got two eyes and if someone shoots you close enough that will remove your eye for you there's plenty enough clips on youtube that you can go and look at where people have been shot and they've got a bb stuck in them the last thing you need is for that to go and happen to one of your eyes not that i'm trying to scare you off from actually going and playing it it's just one of those cold hard facts that it can happen when you do go and stop and uh, have breaks go and have a chat with people see what guns they've got have a chat with them about it how good they think they are what upgrades they've gone and done on these guns as well it'll start giving you an idea on sort of how much money it is going to cost you to go and get yourself a gun and upgrades have a chat about things that you want to find out about things you want to know then you'll start working out things that will most probably give you more questions that you need answering but the more you know the better decisions you'll make and then hopefully that will save you some money which then gives you more money to spend on airsoft now i know there's some of you out there that money isn't a problem but then there's some that things are a little bit tight but still want to be able to go along and do something that they enjoy and this should be one of the things that if someone goes and turns up and they haven't got the best gear is that people won't take the mickey out of them because they haven't chucked a ton of money at something but at the end of the day just because their gear hasn't cost as much as someone else's doesn't mean that they're not a good player anyway i think that's uh, all you can really say about airsoft as in regards you're just about to go and start out and you're all new to it feel more than free to put comments down below and hopefully you'll get people there that have been playing airsoft for a while and may be able to give you even more more tips on what you should and shouldn't be doing and anyone that's new to it can put down questions and hopefully you'll get people maybe answering you back with some good ideas or good suggestions so that's really going to be it for this one i hope this uh, does help some people out so don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one cheers guys Run!